All right, uh, we're going to be unboxing my big Memoria Press order today. Um, if you are new here, thanks for clicking play. And if you have been here before, welcome back. Um, so I actually got this like a week ago, um, but I hadn't ordered it because I was waiting for my charter order, char bleh, charter order to come. Um, but then I realized I think it's all in this one box. And so you'll have to forgive me today. I am unboxing one-handed. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know why. Uh, and you'll also know that I tried filming yesterday and my phone completely crashed. So hopefully this will work today. Um, I'm just going to check for my packing slip in here, which is not on top. Oh yeah, so I could see right away that this is my combined order. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with Memoria Press, uh, they are a Christian classical curriculum company. However, um, they started a charter version of their business to sell to charter schools, which is um, the secular version of their materials. So most of the stuff I'm going to be unboxing is from that charter site, secular materials. Um, and a couple of things I got, I don't think they should be Christian, but um, anyway. So the first thing we have, um, this is a book that was written I think shortly after World War I, and there's an in-depth discussion on the Memoria Press um, YouTube channel about this book. Um, it's just about, it, you know, as it says, in defense of a classical, classical education. So they started reprinting it, and I wanted to read it, so that's why I got this. Um, and then we have Famous Men of Rome. This is the, um, sorry, I'm filming different confusing ways. Um, this is the student guide. So we already have the book and I think I might have actually got the not charter version of this before. So that will be interesting, but this will be for my eighth grader. And so the way that works is they read it and they answer questions. And there are samples on the website of all these things if you want to see them. Then we have geography one. Um, I think this is also the charter version, even though it doesn't say on it. Uh, highly, highly recommend the geography program from Memoria Press. Next, we have a uh, spelling workout. This is used by a lot of different programs. It is just straight up spelling. This is also for my eighth grader. Um, the levels are letters, so H is eighth grade, I'm pretty sure. Then we have English grammar recitation, workbook three. So this is for my, he will be in fifth grade. And so I did make the mistake, this is the charter version, I did make the mistake of getting the non-charter version last time, and that does have Christian content, so there is a difference, even though it's grammar. Um, if you don't want the Christian version, definitely get the charter version. And so I'm just showing you a little bit of what, um, this is review from unit one, um, what this looks like. It is very, um, what's the word? straightforward, um, grammar work, that's the student guide. Then we have, um, this is the teacher guide, so this has the answers, as you can see. So again, that's for my fifth grader. Then we have um, concise history of the American Republic, so this is going to be for my 11th slash 12th grader. This is the student guide. Um, I ordered this book separately, the textbook, because it's like $250. I got it on eBay for $30. Um, so this is a two-year program. So see, it starts in chapter 20. This is kind of similar to if you watched my um, History of Europe and the Modern World. Um, they have before 1865 is year one, and then this is year two. If we were doing four years of high school, I would do year one first, obviously, but we had to make a decision. I was originally going to have this student doing um, dual enrollment for U.S. history because that's a general ed class, but I thought spending a year on American his U.S. history would be better. That is that. Um, then we have History of Europe and the Modern World. This is the student guide. I've showed you guys the completed version of this before. So this will be for my rising 10th grader for her history. And then um, this is the third form Latin student text. 
And so the reason I went with third firm Latin versus Henley, and as you can see, this is the charter version, um, I went with Henley, I mean, instead of Henley was because um, my 11th slash 12th grader is going to have a lot going on, and I figured that trying to navigate a completely different layout of Latin would be probably challenging, so we'll just stay with the same uh, format that she, um Sorry, I'm just pulling out the packing slip, the teacher guide for that. And like I said, I've got my assistant here chewing on his hand. So if you hear that noise, that's what that is. Uh, and then this is the textbook, I think. Yeah, this is the student workbook for third form Latin. This is the charter version. So um, this is combined. This package is mostly charter and then some not. Um, so this I'm really excited about. This is the introduction to grammar school Latin. I think... Yeah, so this is going to be for my rising second grader and fifth grader. And this is, I think, Prima Latina, but the charter version, if you know what I'm talking about. That's the Memoria Press, um, other traditional Latin. And so this is just the very, I'm pretty sure this is the very first um, entry Latin curriculum, if you know what I'm saying. This is what it looks like. So... If there's two of these, then we'll know that that's the one. Yeah, okay. And so the way that it works in Memoria Press is you start with grammar in Latin, and then you switch to grammar in English later on. So I have two of these workbooks for my second and fifth graders for next year. Um, then we have the student guides for second grade literature. So this is different than the read aloud literature. This is where the students are going to be doing the work of reading aloud, the different stories and then answering the different questions. Um, so the first thing they do is they read Peter Rabbit and then they answer these questions. It is a lot, especially for a second grader, um, you know, and we may slow this down more than the lesson plans say. Um, we'll see, but I have done this with my rising fifth grader when he was in second grade and I really liked it. And I can tell you that one change that's been made to the second grade um, literature program is that they swapped out the American animal tales for Brambley Hedge. So that is actually not printed yet and that is going to ship separately. Um, but that was a big change that was made and they also included Amelia Bedelia as one of the second grade literature selections. Um, but we won't be doing that. We'll just be doing um, Tales from Beatrix Potter, Brambley Hedge, and then the other ones I'll show you in this box. Um, and then I got the English Grammar Recitation Handbook. This is the charter version. <clears throat> so this has all of the rules that you're covering in English Grammar Recitation over four years. So as you can see, um, the way that it works is there's these like rules and you memorize them. And that's the goal of doing the curriculum student book is memorizing these rules. So what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words expressing a complete thought. For example, Charlotte is a spider. So this is, you really, in my opinion, need to have this for doing English grammar recitation. Um, you'll regret it if you don't get it, has been my experience. Um, then we have traditional spelling too. This is the charter version, although it doesn't say it on there. Um, I think they're exactly the same. That's what I heard on Facebook. So anyway, this is for my second grader. We've really liked this this year. And I also ordered the brand new traditional spelling five for my fifth grader. Um, that also hasn't printed or shipped yet. So it won't be in this box. Um, and we have the teacher guide for a concise history of the American Republic, which is again, the same format as all the student guides or teacher guides rather. Um, Courage of Sarah Noble. This is another second grade literature selection. And I already have all of the teacher guides, so those aren't in here. Um, Prairie School. Then we have the states and capitals. Oh, I don't think I actually ordered this. Oh, shoot. Okay, if I ordered this, it was a mistake, because I think I got, I think I was supposed to get um, Geography 1 teacher guide. Um, then Geography 3 student workbook. This is for my eighth grader. Book of the Ancient Greeks. Oh, so just kidding. The um, the Rome famous Ro men of Rome is going to be for my fifth grader. This is going to be for my eighth grader. And we already have the um, teacher guide and textbook for that. Um, then Introduction to Grammar School Latin Teacher Manual. 
And lastly, we have the first form Latin um, student workbook for my eighth grader. Um, so I'm just going to take a look at the purchase order that I have here. So let's see. Um, Prairie School came. Okay, so my Brambley Hedge is pre-order and Traditional Spelling 5 is pre-order. So that's all shipping separately. And then... I am not seeing the States and Capitals teacher guide. I think they may have accidentally sent that to me, so I'm going to contact them about shipping it back. Um, other than that, that is um, the bulk of my last Memorial Press order, and this is stuff for my um, rising 11th slash 12th, 10th, 8th, 5th, and 2nd graders. So thank you guys for watching, and um, please forgive my assistant's um, background noises, but you know, that's how it goes when you have kids. Um, thanks for watching, and if you aren't already, I would love it if you would subscribe.